In this video, I will explain the difference between filter and filter views in Google Sheets. So if you go to this data, you will see that there is this create a filter and a filter views. These options are there. So let us try to find out what is the difference between these two. So if you have data something like that, what you can do is select the data and then go to data and then click on create a filter. So basically what this create a filter command does is that it adds this drop downs for these headers. Okay. So basically the purpose is you can filter the data using these drop downs. So for example, so let us say you want to filter all the people where name is ABC. So you can go here and then clear everything and then just select ABC. So what will happen is that it will show only people with ABC name. And you can see that there are two people uh, in this particular data set with name ABC and their joining date is 2 July and 7 July respectively. So that's the purpose of this uh, first button that is create a filter. Now let us see what is the benefit of using the filter views. So with filter views, what you can do is that you can give the different representation of the data based upon the filters. For example, our original data had a lot of records, but after filtering this based upon the name ABC, we have got just two records and we can save this data as a filter view. So for that, go to data and then go to filter views and then click on save as filter view. So basically based upon the filter conditions, it will create a filter and you can name it. Say for example, if your name is ABC. Okay. So it is because this particular view is showing just the data where the name is ABC. And once we save that, you can see that uh, filter by going here and then you can see this is the filter that we just created. Now I'm going to close this filter view by going here and I'm going to add another filter view. So before that, I'm going to select all here. So let us create another filter view. And the condition is that for the joining date is say 4th of July. So let us add that. And now you can see that for this particular filter view, there are only two records. So I'm just going to go to the data and then go to filter views and then click on save as filter view. And here you can say, say joining date is fourth of July. So name can be anything. So now we have got the two filter views. So I'm going to close this filter view as well. So in future, now uh, what you want to do is that Say sometime down the line, you want to again view all the people where name is ABC. So you don't have to go here and then add that uh, filter condition. Since we have already created that filter view, what you can do is go to data and then filter views and then just select name is ABC. So it will automatically add that filter condition for us and then show respective data. So you can see that it automatically did that th uh, thing. So you don't have to manually filter it again. And then I'm again going to cl uh, close this. Let us see the data for the other filter view that we had created where the joining date is 4th of July. So I'm just going to go to the data again and then filter views and then select this filter joining date is 4th of July. So if I click here, what will happen is that it will only show that data where the joining date is 4th of July based upon that filter view. That's it. So that is the benefit of using the filter view. So you don't have to every time go and uh, filter your data over here. It will uh, be automatically done for you based upon the conditions that you had added when you created these filter views. If you have more questions, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.